Hi, Dr. Yoshiram with Oasis Family Medicine, and you are probably iron overloaded. Now, what does this mean? Uh, I believe that iron is a huge cause for uh, our body's aging. Literally, it causes rusts. Rusts causes our body to rust inside when we have too much iron. Now, iron is a vital nutrient to our body. We absolutely need it. Uh, but most of us are, are overloaded and the reason a theory a good theory I believe is that up until a oh, hundred years ago in the US we had a lot of parasites in us so uh, now in first world countries we tend to not have nearly as much para as many parasites in us and parasites love uh, the iron so now they're not consuming iron so most of us end up being iron overloaded now if you are a menstruating or a cycling female then this is probably not an issue because you have a way of ridding yourself of iron on a monthly basis or, or approximately monthly basis but if you are a man or a woman who is half, who is no longer cycling then you probably are iron overloaded because we probably don't have enough parasites in us and this has been linked to a number of diseases but especially brain plaque uh, and so one of the therapeutic ways to uh, take care of this issue aside from making sure you're not taking in iron in supplement form would be to donate blood every three months or so or every six months at minimum assuming you can if you can't donate blood uh, come here come to the office or go to your other doctor's office and get uh, do a little bloodletting preferably not with leeches we are a little bit beyond that uh, but do some bloodletting in a safe manner would be my high recommendation the other thing to consider is a vitamin C vitamin C is not ascorbic acid uh, that has been a big misnomer and uh, to I, I would encourage all of you iron and vitamin C are intricately interlinked in us uh, vitamin C will actually help you um, keep your iron levels to the appropriate amount and most people are taking ascorbic acid again that is not vitamin C Ascorbic acid is like the engine of a car versus vitamin C is like the whole car, which includes the engine. It'd be like if I wanted to go buy a new car at the car dealership and I walked away with just the engine. Well, that's ascorbic acid. It certainly has its place. We use it therapeutically, sometimes as an aid in cancer or uh, during acute illnesses when we need a lot of oxidation therapy. However, it should be used more as a drug, not a daily vitamin versus a true vitamin C, a whole food source of vitamin C, that's what you all ought to be taking, in my opinion. And sources of that uh, can be uh, acerola cherry, um, most citrus fruits, including oranges, with like the orange peel, not processed, not extra sugarified would be ideal. Uh, we have a product here called Cataplex C. That's a wonderful source of whole food uh, vitamin C. Uh, what else? Rose hips are also a good source of, of vitamin C. Uh, Camu Camu is also, so that's C A M U dash C A M U, Camu Camu, also a wonderful source of whole food vitamin C. So those are my suggestions. Take real vitamin C, not ascorbic acid. Ascorbic acid is not equal to vitamin C. And then get rid of your iron if you're not a menstruating female. All right, Dr. Yoshiram, I hope this was very educational for you.